Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm KPG and welcome back to our Ocarina of Time 3 art challenge. Uh, you may be wondering why we're in such a weird location. Well, I actually was on the way back and noticed a Skulltula, so I thought we would get back to this together, uh, take care of it, grab it real quick, and then get back to Jabu Jabu because in the last episode, uh, we went ahead and made our way into Zora's Domain. Uh, and we learned that their princess Ruto had gone missing and was eaten by Lord Jabu Jabu. So we were sent to go find her. We found her, actually, inside of Lord Jabu Jabu, but she said she wasn't going to leave unless we were able to help her, or unless she was able to get us some stone that she had lost. So now we're going to have to escort her, but I'm in a weird location. Like I said, I went to do something. I actually got a bottle of Lon Lon milk. Because I thought we might need it, but yeah, we're in a weird location, so I'll cut to back when we're in Lord Jabu Jabu. Alright, so we're back in Jabu Jabu. Like I said, I just wanted to grab some Lon Lon milk, notice that- Oh, jeez, hey, can we stop? No, please. Please stay back. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I wanted to grab some Lon Lon milk, notice that sculpture on the way back, and just wanted to grab it quick on camera. Oh, by the way- <laughs> She gets annoyed if you leave her. How inconsiderate. How could you leave me behind? If you're a man, act like one. Take responsibility. Hey, I'm... I'm a kid. I'm not a man yet. I'm just a boy. I'm just one of the boys. Wait, what's back here? I actually legitimately don't remember which way we're supposed to go. I think it's... I feel like it's not this way, right? Right? I don't remember. Can we even pop these with, with slingshot? No. Oh, this is the right way. Well, I don't want to go the right way first. Who wants to go the right way first? You gotta go the right way last. That's how you find secrets and stuff. I mean, maybe we can't even go this way right now. Whoa, whoa hey! Sorry, Ruto! I totally just dropped you. I apparently, I have no coordination with my body. Oh, jeez. Come on, Link, get your act together, man. I know I just made this whole statement about not about how he's not a man, he's a boy, and then I call him a man. I am contributing to this problem. Uh, what's up here, anyway? Please don't follow me. You're gonna follow me, aren't you? Oh, oh man. What's up here? Oh, this is a way back, but it's a way back that only Link can take, so we actually can't... You really? You're gonna hit me? Okay, so we actually can't go that way just yet. Uh, or, I mean, we could go that way, but there's no real point. It's over here. Oh, I think this is something we can't... Something we can't get, right? We could kill these Octoroks and see if something happens. But I don't think we can do anything in here yet. Really? There we go. We can just shoot him. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with this. Alright, never mind. Okay, apparently we should have just gone the right way after all. I just wandered around like an idiot for nothing. Oh, and this is fun. Now that I've done that... We're gonna have to leave Ruto and come back for her. Because there's no way for us to get up there. We could throw her up there. But we can't get up there ourselves. So we're gonna actually have to climb. Wow. I've made a sequence of terrible decisions. <laughs> this is very unfortunate. Oh well, I'm glad there's vines growing in this guy's stomach. He must like to eat seaweed or something. Please stay back. Ow. Oh, it's this room. So we're literally like right back to where we were. Alright, cool. Well, no harm, no foul. <laughs> Hi, sorry, Ruto. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm not a man, and I'm just a boy. I'm sorry. I'm very inconsiderate, I know. Now, have fun riding on my head this whole time. I don't know how Link has this much strength, honestly. At, like, whatever age he's at. Just lug her around and still, like, run around at full speed. Thank you for the hearts! You'd think we would have been able to see those inside the bubble, consider it, considering it's clear, but... There's some nuts as well, or Deku seeds, not nuts. The nuts are bigger. All right. Now, oh hey, cool, another Skulltula. I think we already saw two other Skulltulas in the other room too. So it is a Skulltula kind of day. I don't know if we can reach that at the moment. 
Well, I think we can try. I think what we do is we run down here with Ruto. Chuck her up there. Kill this thing. Alright, kill this bubble as well, because these freaking gas bubbles are just annoying. I mean, they give us nice things, so I, I really shouldn't complain too much. But they are a bit annoying. But I think, yeah, we could just raid this, raise this up and get the Skulltula now. So we're going to be raking in the Skulltula tokens after today. Because we already got two, and there's two more. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, there's a fairy? There's a fairy? Give, give it. You're mine, fairy. You're mine. Okay, that's what I like to call insurance. We're looking good now. Okay, so now we have two fairies and a thing of lawn lawn milk. I don't think we're gonna die in this in this dungeon unless I am the worst. I think I would have to actually be trying at this point to lose. I usually, I don't know. I feel like this dungeon is not like that hard. And with two fairies and a thing of lawn lawn milk, I think we should be fine. I think at this point it would be embarrassing if I lost. Please tell me. Oh, wait, no, this is obviously the right way. I was gonna. Oh. Well, you hurt me, but you gave me a heart back, so no harm, no foul. But I was going to say, I, I hope that I didn't just go the wrong way, but we literally threw Ruto the right way, so we know that this has to be the right way. That's nice. I'm terrible with directions. I've probably mentioned this several times within maybe even this series, definitely another series. Oh, hey! Whoa! You can't just do that! <laughs> you can't just do that while I'm holding her like that, man! Jeez, give me some time to think first. Is there anything down in there? I was wondering if there's anything like we could dive for. I don't I don't see anything. Oh well, if I'm missing something, it's probably not that important. Otherwise I probably would have remembered it in the first place. That is the assumption I like to operate on. Cool, so this thing is very kind, lifts us up. And now we can finally get back to the area that Ruto fell in. And we can actually start making some progress in this dungeon. Hopefully. I mean, I'm not too. I'm obviously not too mad about the, the the detour we took because we did get a sculpture out of it. So, and I mean, it, obviously, it's required anyway. It's not like it's not like there's anything we could have done about it. Now, this is the area that I don't know exactly where I don't know exactly what to do. Whoa, hey! How do we kill you guys again? Uh, do we just not kill you? Ruto, do you really just want to watch me die? Uh, really? Well, I guess we've got Lon Lon Milk for this reason. I don't remember how to kill these things. I'm, you know, I'm gonna play it safe and we're just gonna ignore them. Usually if I don't know how to kill something, uh, you know, the, oh my gosh. The best way to deal with it is just ignore it. Just ignore it. Just ignore your problems and they will go away. Oh yeah, I think this is a blue one, isn't it? Uh, Ruto, you're gonna have to stay put. You okay with that? Yeah, you're okay with that. Yeah, it's a blue one, so we have to go in here alone. Ah, uh, we don't have the tools for this job! Sorry, Ruto, I made you wait for nothing. Hey there! Yeah, 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 I know. You're really that impatient? I was in there for like two seconds. And clearly you're invulnerable to damage, so I don't know what you're worried about. These things don't even go after you. <laughs> If they went after you, I could understand you being upset at me. Can we please not lock onto things that I don't want to lock onto? I just trying to move the camera! Stop! Navi! Trying to get me killed. Alright, so there's these weird, like, uvula looking things that are blocking some of these paths, so I think this is the only place we can go. This switch! It doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight alone, Kingdra. Well, I mean, we're kind of both on it already, but... Navi, you know, I get... I was... I was saying that you were being annoying there and I get that you were trying to redeem yourself but that's not the way that's really not the way <laughs> you kind of just proved my point by telling me something that I didn't need you to tell me excuse me thank you I love how I just did that the wrong way oh well come on just shoot this thing a couple times yeah these things these things aren't that bad except for the fact that I don't know how to exactly like trigger them there we go is it like stab them is it walk on them I am not sure well we could try the walk on them strategy oh well that seemed to work 
How about Ruto's just sitting put? Just, just looking away. I did say if we ignore our problems, they'll go away, and she seems to be taking that philosophy to heart. I'm glad to see she's at, she's listening to me, at least. Alright, well, that went well. Ruto, are you having fun over there? You having fun yet? I'm having a pretty cool... I'm pretty having a pretty good time, except for the fact that I had to waste half of my lawn lawn milk because of my stupidity. Oh, well. In any case, now we've got the boomerang. Oh, yeah, baby. You found the boomerang. On the select item subscreen, you, you can set it to left, down, or right. Press C to use it... Yeah, press C to use it to attack distant enemies. So this thing is actually really good. This is a really good item for us to have. This is something I have been waiting for. <laughs> We have been we've been needing this thing for a long time. There's actually a few sculptures we haven't been able to reach, but the boomerang is actually what allows us to get them, because you can kill them. I mean, either with the boomerang or the slingshot. Uh, but then what what the nice thing is is that the boomerang will actually collect sculpture tokens. So some of the ones that we couldn't reach, we can actually go back and get at some point now. Uh, and now actually this thing over here that we left earlier, another one of those like weird dangly uvulas. I said we didn't have the right tool for the job. Well, now we do. We have a boomerang, as apparently boomerang beats uvula. In the extended game of rock, paper, scissors, uvula boomerang. Alright, well, we just killed this man's uvula. Lord Jabu Jabu's uvula. Thankfully, he's got multiple of them. But this thing was hiding a chest from us, so I don't feel any remorse about taking this. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Alright, just the dungeon map. I mean, obviously we just got the boomerang, so we can't really be too greedy. <laughs> They're not going to give us two amazing things back to back like that. Alright, hey Ruto. I know. we. I left you. But, in my defense, I don't care. Uh, let's go over here now. The red slimy thing is gone. That must be because you cut the red tail. Will that work with the other ones too? So yeah, these things that were blocking the pads, if you go kill, like, the big kahuna in the other room, then, uh, you get to be fine. And go through, and everything is great and good, and awesome and amazing. And now we are on a timer to kill these bubbles, and I honestly don't remember what happens if you don't do it within the time limit. I really don't hope, like, it's an instant... Imagine if it was, like, instant death, like, no fairy could revive you. I don't think that's the case. I think you just, like, have to try again or something. Uh, ideally, we just get it and don't have to worry about that issue. I'm sad to say I've actually failed this before, though. I know I just did it right there just fine with 12 seconds to spare, but I've legitimately actually failed that before. I don't know how, because it's not that hard, but sometimes I just impress myself with how bad I am. But hey, our third big chest back-to-back, two-back. And it's the other thing that you get in dungeons, the compass. Now you can see the locations of many hidden things in the dungeon. I don't know if there's anything else that we really care about that much. The blue things, is that just, those just must be the areas we've visited. Uh, we have not gotten to, or is there a way to go to the basement? There we go. Doesn't look like we're missing any like, sure why not, I'll save. Well, now we... Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. Now we gotta hope that this uh, video doesn't get, like, corrupted or something, or that would be horrible. So I would have to play all the way back from the beginning of the game back up to this point. Which, I mean, admittedly, wouldn't actually take that long. But, like, still something I wouldn't want to do. Imagine doing that late in the game, though. That's, like, one of my biggest fears is, like, I accidentally get, like, a heart container and somehow, like, stupidly save the game. And then our game is just, like essentially soft locked and then I have to go all the way back whoa sorry Ruto didn't mean to just throw you face first into the wall there good thing is made of flesh so it's probably not that hard <laughs> unless he's got rock hard stomach muscles or whatever in which case I'm sorry but we got another uvula to murder over here or tail as Nabi wants to call it I just call it a uvula because it's freaking dangly thing that hangs from the ceiling of this and we're inside of Jabu Jabu so I mean I don't know what else you guys want to call it but it seems kind of uvula like to me but now there should be one last thing that was blocking one of the ways I think it was dead center yeah these things are just much easier to ignore I, I don't know how to kill them honestly I wonder if it's the boomerang I want to test it actually 
Can the boomerang kill these things? Can it really not? Oh, yeah, I can. It totally can. I just must have missed the first time. Or you have to hit it in one of those, like, in its balls. You gotta hit it in the balls. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Everything's weakness. Hit it in the balls. Alright, Ruto, let's go. You ready? You ready to watch me kill something else? So this uvula's got backup. This thing doesn't... This thing's not messing around. It's got jellyfish. But yeah, we can actually kill the jellyfish with the boomerang now. I don't know how a boomerang is significantly stronger than a slingshot. But hey, you know, I'll take it. Oh yeah, might as well just take care of those things first, and now we can take care of this. These things are really just not that hard. I mean, the jellyfish aren't that hard either. You can just keep throwing it, really. What the heck? Oh! <laughs> Apparently, Navi is just going to decide to give us an explanation of what this thing really is. Parasitic tentacle? It seems that the narrow part is its weak point. You need a particular item to destroy it. Uh, yeah, Navi. Uh, I wonder where you found... I wonder where you came up with that idea. Well, anyways, we took care of that thing, and... We actually needed to do that. I don't think we... I, I don't think I addressed this earlier. I mean, you guys might have noticed it. But there was actually one of those tail things blocking one of the paths out here. I don't remember which one it was, though, funnily enough. So this is going to be fun. Whoa, jeez, man. I think it was this one. I think it's this one. Let's hope I didn't pick wrong. I picked right. Okay, my memory did not fail me. <laughs> so it's that one. There was originally a one of those parasitic tentacle things that was blocking the way. But now, since we really that missed... Yeah, we can kill this with the boomerang now. Uh, but since we killed that, now we can go down here. And this is obviously where we need to go. So we'll get that gold skull chilla for free. And then this one is pretty easy too. It's, it's funny that these are right next to each other. I wouldn't be surprised if these are like the two closest golden skull chillas in the game. Because like, it's kind of crazy that they're that close actually. Anyways, that's our fourth golden skull chilla of the day. I wonder what our count is at. It's got to be pretty high by now. 19. Yeah, we should prob we're probably going to be due for a reward pretty soon. And we have three more that we know of that we can get at the moment uh, whenever we want to now that we have the boomerang. So we can absolutely reach 20. But anyways, ooh, look at that thing. That's it. That's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there. Onto the platform. Uh, I don't want to. That thing looks kind of important. In fact, if you think about it, that thing looks really important. It kind of looks like it would go with these two. With, with, uh, with these two. Oh well. Go get it, I guess. I think I'm gonna want that thing, though. It looks like it might be the spiritual stone. Princess Ruto got the spiritual stone. Yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> it's a spiritual stone. But why Princess Ruto? Yeah, wait, what? You did none of the work! Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised I dropped it inside. But now that I've found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. How far did you chuck it when you were falling? You're like, oh no! You can just like freaking launch that thing. Like, because this is very far away from his mouth hole. Like, like, how did they get all the way over here? Anyway. So take me home, right now! You know, can you please stop ordering me around? You know, I, I've done so much for you. You've done nothing but just sit on top of my head or just sit on the ground. Can you please not? Oh, well. Oh, well, goodbye. You know, I was gonna help you anyway, but. Kya! Yeah! What is this? An octopus? Oh. Well, you have fun with that. Or I'll have fun with that. Oh, hi there. Uh, hey, Navi, you want to give an explanation? Well, I'm thinking... Oh, never mind. I should not have stopped for it. Well, now we got... There we go. I should have waited for it to turn around. Bigocto. Attack it from behind. Wow. You know, Navi, I was expecting more from you. I don't know why, but I was expecting more. I was thinking, like, we should probably actually, like... Check, check what Navi has to say about some of these important fights, just for the heck of it. But, apparently, she didn't really have anything important to say. But yeah, I mean, she did get to the heart of what we need to do here, though. We need to attack it from behind. Oh, well. 
Where are you? Thing, the thing just started spinning the other way, so... I think that means he's going the other way now. Thankfully, this this doesn't do too much damage to us. I think I think he hit us once, and that did half a heart, and then we got stabbed for another quarter of a heart. So thankfully, things are still not doing too much damage to us at this point, so it's still not really that big of a deal that we only have three hearts. But, oh, really, you're gonna have... You're gonna dip right as I was about to throw that boomerang right up your butt. You really just had to dip right then and there, huh? You gotta be like that, huh? Really? That was not a lock-on. Even close. Whoa, I almost just ran straight into those spikes. Alright, can, can we try this again? Right up the rectum. Come on, there we go. Alright, probably one more hit because Zelda likes threes. I mean, Nintendo in general likes threes. It's usually the three-hit rule. Like every uh, boss, you gotta get, like, three hits. I mean, not every boss, but there are a lot of bosses where it's like... Three hits is the magic trick. You ready? Uh, apparently Navi was not ready. Not a question of whether Big Octo's ready, it's the question of whether Navi's ready to lock onto him. And then we just have to hope he doesn't disappear. Alright, you ready to die yet? Oh no. Maybe I should have been doing jump attacks, honestly. It does seem like that could be my fault. Oh hey, ow. Really? Well, you know what? That's fine. We could probably heal up soon enough anyway. And this will make it a lot easier to catch up to you. Unless you just disappear. Whoa! Hey! Okay, so we actually have to roll to get away from him. Or we'll just kill ourselves! Apparently Link chose to do that instead. Wow. Okay. Uh, can I take a swig of this quick? I was just getting messed up right there. All right, let's get our boomerang back. Don't really want to waste these fairies if I don't have to. I'd much rather do the lawn lawn milk. It was a lot less work to get that. It was just like 30 rupees. It's worth, uh, that's worth way more, or that's worth less to me than a fairy is. Okay, I got, I'm running too close to this thing. It's mainly because I want to actually get behind this guy. I'm trying to cut the corner as fast as possible, but they, I mean, they put those spikes there for a reason, because they know that it'd be too easy if you could just run up on him with no consequences. Come on. Ah, so it's if you get too close to him, he just dips. All right, which way are you? Oh, you're right there. Okay, well, turn around, buddy. Show me your butt. It's mine! Couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle the sword up the butt. I mean, I don't know how many people that would enjoy that experience anyway. Oh, hearts! Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get out of here. So, fun fact, that was not the boss. I mean, I'm sure most of you already know that. But that was not actually the boss. This is, I think, the first... Uh, oh, baby, you already know what time it is. Three fairies. Also, that was an excellent shot, Link, because that did not look like you were going to hit that. <laughs> Okay, we have three fairies. We are fully stocked and ready to go. There's I there's nothing that could stop us now. There is nothing in our way at this point in time. We are fully stocked. We are locked and loaded, ready to go. And Ruto is nowhere to be seen. You know, wasn't she just up here? Did she really just wander off on her own? Kind of stupid, but at least she, uh, you know, at least she's taking initiative in her life. At least she's actually doing something on her own. I can't really get mad at her for that. So these are some more of these, like, wobbly things. Really, do you have to, do you have to do this to me? Alright, well, let's get off because the thing, yeah. It's, the timer's running out. These things are on a timer. We saw another one of these wiggly things earlier. And, uh... We weren't able to do anything about it, but it's because we needed the boomerang. Pretty much everything in this dungeon is like, hey, you can't do, you can't mess with it until you have the boomerang. That's like almost everything in this dungeon. <laughs> this dungeon really is just trying to show the value of the boomerang, and it works because that's it's a very good item. Ah, yes, we got a blue switch, but we don't have a Ruto. 
Thankfully, we left one of these boxes alive in the last episode. I mean, the other one respawned, but... You remember, I said we were gonna leave one box alive, so we're gonna canonically assume that I killed one box. And that I just so happened to leave one alive. For this very purpose. You know, respawning notwithstanding. Hey, let's go! Alright. You jellyfish want a piece of me now? Yeah, earlier these things were annoying the crap out of me. But now that we got a boomerang, I just will- I don't even care. I will kill them all. I will make jellyfish go instinct for all I care. I don't know what kind of wicked powers Ganondorf has that he can make jellyfish manifest inside of a living being like this. I mean, I guess he put Queen Goma inside of, uh... The Deku Tree. Oh my gosh, there are so many Skullchillas in this dungeon. What the heck? I mean, I don't even mind it, but like... It's only the third dungeon, and there's five Skullchillas in here? Really? I don't remember there being that many. That's crazy. You destroyed a gold Skullchilla, just like you've always been doing. Alright, well, let's climb up here, I guess. Yeah, dude, like... Five? There's five Golden Skullchillas... Oh wait, no, it was just five golden sculptures in this episode. There's four golden sculptures in here. That's right, I forgot we got... I was remembering five because we got five golden sculptures in this episode, but one of them was outside the dungeon, okay. Still, four does also seem like a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember how many was in, like, the Deku Tree, but I don't think it was four. I think it was, like, two or something. Anyways, we got 20 now, so I, I would imagine that's enough for another reward whenever we want to go to Kakariko again. But, right now, we got other things to worry about. We got the boss of this dungeon to worry about. But you know what? We're stocked up. We got three fairies. I'm not even slightly worried about this fight. I wouldn't be that worried if we only had one fairy. We got three. The Bioelectric Anemone, Baronade. This is like the king of the jellyfish. Uh, can we, uh, hit these things? There we go. It's got, like, these... Whoa, run, 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 run. Run, run, lock off, lock off. These things, like, flash up like a camera, and then they just shoot at you. Whoa, and I ran right into... I ran right into the thing. Can we please not? <laughs> I don't want to get shocked. There's actually a lot of pots here with hearts and stuff, too, though, so, like... I know I'm, like like saying like oh no I gotta I gotta watch out but really it's not that big of a deal whoa wait hold on let's get out of here I didn't realize I I thought there was one more dangly thing all right yeah it's got these like jellyfish swinging about to protect it but I think we can kill them right yeah we can just kill them I'm just gonna do that screw the jellyfish man like I've been saying all along. That's what it uses as its defense, so... Now we can attack its body. And go after it! Ouch. Yeah, so this boss isn't really, like, much problem. Oh yeah, you can also get super lucky like that. And just manage to take it out. You hit it, like, pretty quickly. Although this time it, like, hit away, so... Oh, you're gonna make us kill all the jellyfish first. I see, you're sacrificing all of your minions first. Well, too bad, that bought you like five seconds of life. Hope you enjoy death! Yeah, so this thing really is not that big of a deal. It's pretty much just find the weak spots on its body that Navi locks onto. Speaking of Navi, we could actually uh, see what she has to say about this thing. Baronade, many, par many parasitic jellyfish swarm around this monster. Aim for its body, protected by jellyfish. Ouch! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna restock on hearts. I don't want to risk wasting a fairy over something stupid. Pretty sure all these pots contain hearts. Whoa, hey now. There we go. Let's get in on it. Ow. Oh, no, I didn't mean to ask you again, Navi. I'm sorry. She's like, you idiot, I already told you how to fight this thing. How stupid are you? <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Navi. I wasn't trying to ask you for help. 
All right, you ready again? All right, we gotta be getting close now. This is just ridiculous. You know how many jump attacks I hit you with? There we go. Get out of here. That's what you like to see. That's our third dungeon complete. Only three hearts, still zero deaths. And we're fully equipped on fairies, and ew, get this thing away from me. <laughs> I don't even want to risk touching it. I don't even want to risk touching it. Oh, hey, Ruto, where, did, where the heck did you come from? You, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. <laughs> I'm useless? You did nothing. I literally had to kill two big monsters. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? I'll be nice to you because you have a spiritual stone that I need, but, you know, other than that, come on. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. Oh, so you're a Sundere, I see. Never mind. <laughs> oh well. Hey, well, the beam of light was ever so kind to wait to carry us away until she had the chance to give us, or to say those things. Whoa, hey there. <laughs> I will never not love this scene. She's just all up in Link's face. He's like, whoa, I'm out of here, man. This is creepy. Like, please give me some personal space. Speaking of which, um, this is not personal space. You, you looked cool. Cooler than I thought you would, anyway. Just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want that spiritual stone. Nothing really. You know, I'm, I'm doing good. Now give me your spiritual stone! I need it! You mean the spiritual stone of water? Zora Sapphire, don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. Well, uh, does Hyrule really need to be saved that badly? <laughs> does Hyrule really need to be saved that badly? You know, Link shouldn't be forced to have to go through with this. All right, oh, I, you know, <laughs> she is all for it, though. She's all for it. I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora Sapphire. Thanks. And also thanks for giving me some personal space. I appreciate that, too. I w <laughs> wow, I didn't know you possessed teleportation magic, Ruto. There we go. There we have it. You obtained Zora Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. And with that, well, that was weak. Let's n not yet. <laughs> Let's try again. And with that, I can snap louder than that. And with that, let's add it to the layout. Gosh. <laughs> we're never doing this again, okay? We were only doing that for the spiritual stones. We're not doing that for, <laughs> for the medallions. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's keep going. Her most precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, what marriage? What's that, man? I've been sheltered. I've been living in the forest my whole life. You know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. That we will do. I will. Don't tell my father. Oh, I've got a very good record about not telling your father things that you've asked me not to tell him. Uh, but no, you know what? With, with this thing, I think I actually will, you know, go ahead and not tell him. I won't tell him about the whole engagement thing because I want nothing to do with it. You know, we already said, we already told Talon that we would marry Malin, okay? So, we're, we already made that commitment if, uh, if he wants to make good on following through. And, of course, if Malin's okay with it as well. I mean, I don't know why she wouldn't be because Link is freaking amazing, but who knows? Maybe not. Anyway, Navi's probably going to be like, hey, go see Zelda. Yeah, probably. You collected three spiritual stones. Let's go back to Hyrule Castle. Yeah, well, probably, but don't know if it's going to be in this episode. Uh, you know what? Let's see what he has to say, though. Let's see what King Zora has to say. Oh, hey, Ruto. Dude, you're so small compared to your dad. And I love this camera angle, by the way. Did my most precious possession help you in your quest? Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, it hasn't actually helped me at all yet, fun fact. It will soon, though. It will soon. Let's see what your dad does to say, though. Hey, you know, you know, your daughter says pretty weird things to me, you know. Oh, Kingdra, so you saved the princess, eh? I really appreciate it. 
Thanks, man. Dude, like, look at the look at the size difference. I also think it's just funny, like, it's like why do why do the Dora kings have to just be like these massive behemoths? It's the same way in Breath of the Wild slash Tears of the Kingdom, with King Dorf, and it's like, wow. Although at least Dorfin has a name. This dude's literally just King Zora. He doesn't have a name to him. He just is King Zora. He is the embodiment of all Zora, all of the Zoras. Uh, but you know what? I think we're going to save our reunion with Princess Zelda for the next episode. I think we did plenty today. We got a heck ton of Skulltulas. We finished off the Lord Jabu Jabu dungeon, got the Spiritual Stone of Water, and apparently are going to be engaged to Ruto. Well, uh, you know, that, that's Link's problem, man. That's Link's problem. But yeah, in the next episode, we will go... Uh, have our reunion with Princess Zelda, tell her that we collected the spiritual stones, and see what's gonna go, what's going to happen from there. We will, we will have our reunion with Princess Zelda in the next episode. So, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. It would really help out the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. And, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!